Alright guys, here I got a 2001 Honda Accord BAXA transmission and uh, this is the transmission disassembled and as you see there, there's a clutch with, not, with no friction on one side and it's burned up, second gear and it's very dirty uh, and here we got the parts that are going into it and I'm proud to say that I guess everybody's been working on the same issue all the time about these burn converters I got here a Sonics pressure regulator valve and this valve uh, in my other video I explained to you how this valve works and it actually has it's a, it's a pressure regulated it has a little ball in here with a spring and what it actually does, it, it gives you line to convert a charge. You have a little hole here where the fluid goes in line pressure and it goes in, it goes out through that hole, you know, to feed your converter charge problems. And uh, ever since this valve came out, I started using it instead of doing the drill in the hole like I used to do before. And this is an O ring end plug kit. And uh, this has been out for a while. I've been using this ever since. But on the other video, I showed an alternative to use a tubing cutter, you know, to make the the, the end plug fit a uh, snug and uh, to stop the, the blow by the leak. And an, another new item that Sonic came out. It's a uh, torque converter check valve. And uh, what this does, it gives you more cooler flow. There's the spring. And here's a little check valve. It's got a valve, the spring, and the spring seat that goes in the back of the uh, pressure regulator body. As a matter of fact, I got I got an old torque converter check valve. This is the original style, and sometimes this spring uh, wears out, and or this gets stuck. And if this, this one gets stuck open, you're not going to have enough uh, cooler flow. So this is an updated one with its own spring and uh, the spring seat. So actually, you just take this off, discard it. You take off your pressure regulator valve, the old one, and throw it away. And the old end plugs, you take them out and you also throw the original one away. And, uh, I mean, this is pretty cool. I mean, this got an O-ring, put an O-ring in it, and uh, it creates a good seal. This is what goes into all of our Honda units. We always try to keep them updated the way we used to do before, or this way, which this is a little better, and I agree more with this, because if you create a link like, on, like I showed you on my other video, if, you, if your vehicle stays stationary for let's say a week, uh, you're going to create, uh, the converter is going to be discharged, you know, partially. So what you need to do then, you know, you start the car and you put it in gear, there's nothing there. You've got to let it uh, warm up a little bit for the converter to charge up again. But that's only if you leave it for a week or maybe more than a week, you know, part, uh, without even turning it on. Uh, but if it's a daily commuter, I mean, you will never have a problem uh, driving that uh, line to converter charge. You know, but this is a little better. You know, there's, you know, some of our guys, you know, they go overseas. You know, uh, our troops, they park their cars, you know, on the military bases for months. And I mean, and one here, this is the lockup control valve, and this is the lockup shift valve, and uh, this is an O-ring end plug, and this is just a brand new end plug without an O-ring, and uh, also the shift control shift valve control C which is this one here if you can see the the valve it's against the end plug so like I said on my, on my other video that all the valves that go against the end plug uh, they have to have a perfect seal which this is one of them shift control valve C uh, lock up control lock up shift valve and the lock up control valve
Now let's remember to polish the boards. High speed drill, polish the boards, make sure that they're nice and polished. This is a flex pressure control valve, valve board, and these two valves come uh, taking the O-ring end plug on it. And uh, this is very critical, very important that you polish this valve board. Here I got the valve. It's still not falling on its own weight. It needs to be polished more. The more you polish it, it doesn't take any material out. It just cleans the board. On my other video, actually, you can see the bolt the, the valve's falling on its own. See they come out? This is what you want to see all the time. And I still need to clean this because I'm not polishing it. Both valves are the same on both boards. Let's try it on the other one. It gets hung up a little bit on the end because of the of, of the uh, clip. But there we go. Now after we clean this valve, this valve body again, they're going to fall on his own weight by themselves. So this is very important. Don't skip this step. There's no shortcuts on Hondas. That's what we do. That's why we're so successful with building all these Hondas. And we try to keep them on the road. And cleanliness is one of the most important things on, uh, on a Honda unit. And all you builders know that the valve body goes all the way down. You got your shafts and everything. He has no pan. So it has to be clean. Not, not, not like some other units that we have a pan underneath, the valve gets hung up, pull the pan off, pull the valve body off. There's no shortcuts here. You can't do that. Very important step here. Very important. Clutch, pressure control valve. And this is still a little dirty. So we're going to work on that a little more. Now I want you to notice something here. I already put my two uh, O-ring end plugs in it, but you put them in and you push them. And if you look here, you can see the O-ring uh, that is not installed properly. So once you put your end plug in with the O-ring, you put your clip in, and then you get your picker scribe, and then you push it against the clip so that the o-ring will be on the wall itself so you want to make sure that they are pushed outwards once you get your clip in so that the o-ring will be in the right position the reason for this if, if it's if it's pushed in you're gonna block the feet the feet fluid that goes into to push that valve so you just make sure that there there are they are installed correctly and that the clip it's against the wall here and that your end plugs are all the way out and you can see the valve there I don't know if you can see it there in the camera but let me get a closer here see if I push if I push it in you can see the o-ring and it has to be against the clip against that keep that in mind Okay guys, here's the main pressure regulator valve body and here's the main pressure regulator valve as I explained before on the other video you have a uh, line pressure going here and it goes in through the little orifice in the valve and then it pushes the valve open just a little bit for one of these lands to get some fluid from the converter from the line pressure to converter charge and then you have line pressure to the loop circuit on this other land and uh, see it's got the little orifice in the front of the valve so line pressure goes through this land here in between these two lands it crosses to the front of the valve through the little valve orifice it pushes the valve open a little bit to get converter charge so this is line pressure and this is converter charge 
and uh, this back here is going to be your loop circuit. So line pressure pushes the valve when it's in idle and it opens those two lands, those two cutouts. Let me get a little bit closer here. Here you can see the two little cutouts there. But it's not completely squared off. So line pressure would push the valve open just enough so you can get line to convert charge and line to lube on these two circuits. Now this is the original valve. This is the Sonics valve. Now on my other video I showed you, you, you just drill a hole here for line pressure to go to convert charge, right? Well, you don't have to do that anymore because this valve has a hole here and it's got a little check ball in there with a little spring that will actually feed line pressure to converter charge and on this on this land here there's another little hole so if this valve gets stuck close in the close position for some reason uh, it will you will still get line pressure on your converter charge because of that line line to converter charge orifice that it's in the it's in the valve so this is a line to converter charge and if you notice here I mean you don't have anything for line to loop uh, there's not there's not a problem here with uh, line to loop problems on these Honda units and the reason for that I mean the design is more like a manual transmission and all the gears they uh, they splash around and they lubricate themselves but the hydraulic circuits they do have problems with it especially if this main control valve body is over torque you over torque your bolts you can create uh, a problem here because the valve is going to be closed shut and you have three springs here that work against it you have a large spring here and two small ones so this valve is always pushed shut and uh, on the other video I explained how the how the arm the stator arm also keeps keeps it shut so you can have the proper pressure like if you're passing another vehicle or something like that uh, it create it keeps you with uh, full pressure for uh, all the hydraulic uh, systems inside the unit to work properly and this is very clever I mean you can still drill line to convert a charge and keep your converter full or you can purchase this valve which I think is pretty neat so this is going to go into our unit okay like I was saying here you have the stator shaft it goes to the torque converter here you have the outer larger spring and the other two springs are in there so this these three springs are keeping pressure on the pressure regulator valve I'm going to use an example of the old one is going to keep it on the closed position once you start the vehicle the line pressure will start regulating and it'll open the valve a little bit so you can have a, a line to convert a charge and line to loop now when you accelerate heavily and uh, to pass another vehicle or you just heavy on your accelerator or whatever the case may be uh, the stator shaft is the converter the torque converter is going to create a lot of uh, torque is going to multiply torque the way it should be and you have the stator arm uh, here up against the uh, springs and the uh, uh, pressure regulator valve so this arm is going to move to the other position where right now it's on the rest position and uh, it's going to go towards the inside and what's going to happen is going to close the valve shut so you're, when your valve is shut you, you have no line to convert a charge and you have no line to loop but this should be only temporarily it's just like passing a vehicle uh, it's just going to be like maybe full throttle so uh, once you let your foot off the accelerator then the valve starts modulating starts regulating line pressure and uh, convert a charge uh, goes back in line and uh, just in case this valve gets stuck in the closed position in the high line pressure position uh, you're not gonna you're gonna be cut off from the uh, converter charge 
and then you update Sonex valve. It should work pretty well, uh, especially if, if, if it's a if it's an Odyssey or a Rich Line, and you're towing a boat. More than likely, I mean, this valve is gonna work in in the uh, high line pressure position. And either you can do the line to a converter charge, drill the hole, or purchase the new Sonex pressure regulator valve.